texturing. Okay, to start texturing, one must have UVs again. So, edit mode, edges. Just like that. Control E, mark seam. Split the area by right clicking. And go into UV image editor. A on the keyboard, U on the keyboard, unwrap. Okay, with this highlighted, I can change out the texture so I can make a new texture. Uh, the new texture, I want to put like a gray value in here. There we go. And 2048 by 2048, I'll hit OK. I'll call this color one. Incidentally, uh, one of the confusing parts to Blender is, you know, changing out textures. It's very simple. If you go and make a new texture, and we'll make this one black. And call this color two. You can see once I put on textured mode, There's the black one. If I hit A to highlight it and switch it over to color one, I can. Okay. Another thing I like to do is click this button right here so I don't get back faces on. Another thing I like doing is going in here to the image or UVs. and turning on texture painting. There we go. Let's go into make a, a multi-res object here. So I'm going to be sculpting and painting at the same time, killing two birds with one stone. I like to put solid on uh, when I sculpt. And I'm just going to make <laughs> probably another rock just because it's a good example. Again, F on the keyboard to make this bigger. And I can just go like this. Make this like a really big. Add some levels. I'll just add like eight levels to flatten. There we go. We'll add some noise in here. So back here on texture, I had to click texture, add new, and then go back in here to brush, clouds. And now I can start taking and adding some noise into this area. Make my brush really big so I can kind of crank this out. All right, there we go. Now I can go into texture paint, and you can see that's where this image comes in play. Let's go into the workings of texture paint. 
which right now I would be painting white. Okay. Now I can use that texture that I just made back here into the texture pane if I wanted to. Rank up size. And this might bog down your machine to no end the first time you touch this thing. And you can see I got a really fast machine and it has a huge, huge thing with it where it's like barely can handle it. If you want to, you know, back this down, it does the very same thing. It's not like it adds anything to the sculpt. Once it gets done calculating for the next time, I'm going to take and turn it back into edit mode and turn down my multi-res. Then go back to texture painting. Now you can see much faster. So let's just add some noise in here. You can set this smooth, that way you can see at least a little bit better on the texture itself. Already that's looking pretty good. Again, you can generate new textures for your brush just by going into here and say, well, this time I want Maybe that Veroni. Okay, now I'm painting Veroni. If I want noise, now another thing you could do: go back to, oops, texture painting, and you can see that there's an opacity setting. So what's nice is you layer your opacities on things. And, you know, you can put noise down, and then over the top of noise you can add some other different kinds of noises. So a lot of times I'll just keep layering those up. There we go. Go back to object mode. In edit mode, you can see the actual texture itself. Okay. And you can export this out if you wanted to. Me, I'm going to switch these. So I'm going to hit A on the keyboard and go into color 2. Whoops. That's right. You got to bring it down to level 1 before you can do this. Now color 2 can support all your uh, bake features. So in this case I'm going to take and go to level 2 and delete lower so it's not such a box. Color 1 I'm just going to export. Save image. Now if I go into Color 2, let's kind of look at baking along with this. A 
Okay, let's go into object mode and make a duplicate of this. Right click to put it back into place. Hit M on the keyboard to set it to the new layer. With this one, what I want to do is go back to this feature and up the levels all the way. And I'll just say delete lower. This one, right click it, and I want to delete higher. So now I got two of these. I got the high res and low res. The high res, I can highlight. Go to this one, hold shift and highlight it. And hold shift so that both of them are showing. Go to the textures, go to bake. And now I can bake using select active. I can use a displacement. I'm going to hit bake. Okay. Both objects have to be set to smooth. So over here uh, on the actual object, I'm going to set smooth and go to this one and set it to smooth also. So I don't get this tessellation occurring. I might get some tessellation to begin with though. So Again, high res, select, low res, hold shift and select, hold shift, click on the next layer, go back to bake. This time I'm going to use normalize. You can see that I get this nice displacement map. Well, I'm going to save that out. I can also bake textures or full render. For full render, what I'm going to do is choose to only use my uh, highest res object, this one. It also is based upon lights in the scene. So if I add a couple lamps to the scene. Do a full render now. You can see how bright that is. So you got to learn how much light to put in the scene. That might be a little bit too much. You can also add a lamp. Put um, just a lamp lamp. Sometimes it's better just to copy a lamp over and over. starting to look better. And you can see I'm starting to get more of an image here. 